Hey, this is Mike with Five Minute Guide and also Indelible Inc. Uh, Indelible Inc. is a company that I co-founded uh, about 10 years ago with my best friend. Uh, what we do is we work with nonprofit organizations and businesses that are trying to make the world a better place, and we help them perfect their digital presence. So that's their website, SEO, all of that good stuff. Check us out in the, uh, the links in the description. Enough of that shameless plug. Let's talk about ClickUp and automating assignments based on custom fields. So something that if you have been using ClickUp for any amount of time that you have probably discovered is that you, while you might be inclined to try to use a custom field as a variable in an automation, you generally speaking can't. You can use it for conditions, but you can't use it uh, in a variable unless it's in the title or the description. So something that we would like to do is we have this uh, change right here that when a, uh, a task moves into a review status, we want to create a subtask and assign that to the project manager to come and actually look at that so that it doesn't just move into review and sit there and die. Uh, so let me show you how this automation looks right now. So it's from any status, goes to review. We're going to create this subtask, review, and then there's our variable for the task name. So it's going to say review this task. Um, in fact, I should actually, in the description, I should put the task link. Um, so there's a task link there. Uh, normal, you know, we've got our, our due date, kind of our range, you've got about two days to figure out what's going on here. And we've got a tagged project management. And what I really want to do is I want to use the custom field that we have that's a people custom field that has the project manager identified. But when I click on this, all I've got are hard code options. So uh, that's not a great solution to me. Um, there are two of us who act as project managers. It, it could be Kurt, it could be me. So I don't want to just hard code this as Kurt like this, because then every single task will be assigned to Kurt. And uh, that poor guy is going to get buried and I'm just going to go on vacation. So here's what we do. We come back over here and we create another condition. And we say if the custom field is project manager and the value is Kurt. And now we have this where it says basically if it moves into review and the value of the project manager custom field is Kurt, then we're going to assign it to Kurt. Well, that's not super ideal because what about me? Uh, I'm still not getting anything. If it's assigned to me, then it, this project, this automation isn't even going to happen. So the next step uh, first would be to, I, I always recommend as soon as you finish um, creating an automation or editing an automation, update this description because once you get up a few of them here it can be very confusing to look at so create a subtask to review a task and assign it to kurt if kurt is the pm so i've got a rough description of the logic and what's going on there now i'm just simply going to hit this duplicate button duplicate in the current location come down here change this value to me come down here change this value to me duplicate Okay, and now, of course, I need to change this description and change it to, in fact, I can just do there, Mike, if Mike is the PM. Now, this does not scale very well. Uh, you know, you see on the left, I've got a ton of spaces. Um, this, as we apply this approach across multiple uh, list templates, this does not scale as our team grows and changes. The caveat to that is that I do believe that the ClickUp folks have a lot of feature requests around this. There are a lot of uh, a lot of people asking for the ability to use the uh, custom fields as dynamic data in these automations. Um, super, super helpful. It would be super helpful. People from ClickUp, if you're listening, it would be super helpful. Uh, this is one of the few things that has had me going, oh, should I look at something else? Otherwise, I 100% love ClickUp. Um, but this is a very important workflow for anybody who wants to make sure that when a status, uh, when a task goes into a review status, you get some sort of stake in the ground that says, hey, someone is responsible for looking at this and making sure that it does get followed up on. So there are, of course, plenty of other ways to do it. This is the way we do it. And I know there are plenty of folks looking for solutions out there. Uh, this is the quickest way I've found to put something like this together where you just go through and you, you give it those variables. If your team is very big, this obviously becomes very cumbersome, but it is a stopgap solution for now. So hopefully this can help you. If not, um, go find the feature requests on ClickUp and upload them. And other than that, uh, yeah, I hope it's been helpful for you. If it has, uh, like the video, subscribe to our channel. And of course, if you've, you've got somebody that you know that needs help with their web, 
uh, presence, their, their website itself, their SEO, uh, please visit us at becomeindelible.com and we would be happy to talk to them about how we can help them perfect their digital presence. Thanks for watching.